Natasha's family is in what they're calling the red zone in Ukraine, so it's a pretty dangerous area. Um, she lost communication with her family for almost seven weeks where she didn't hear anything at all. I had Natasha for uh, human anatomy and physiology last year at Sandy Creek High School, and she was here through a scholarship program called Flex, um, and she was just like a super great student, very shy and reserved. As we were getting closer to that February date of when the conflict officially started, you could just see that she was stressed out. And so one day after class, I just pulled her aside and I was like, Natasha, I just need you to know, like whatever happens, you always have a place. And I jokingly, to try to lighten the mood, I was like, you can come to the Lambert Zoo. It's chaos, <laughs> you know, um, we have almost six year old triplets. I was like, you can just welcome to the zoo and you can be a part of us and you can be with us and be a Lambert. We've told Natasha that it's like a zero refund policy. She's stuck with us forever. It was just like a comment in passing that it was providential that this is where she's supposed to be. And I said, you know, I am never, I don't want to replace your mom. I'm not a replacement of your mom, but you know, I want to be there as a stand-in when your mom can't physically be here. So I'm here for the highs and the lows. As a teacher, obviously my number one um, responsibility is to take care of students. And so, yes, I want to teach them awesome content. I personally love science and I want to create like a world of science nerds. <laughs> so educationally, I want students to love science and to be passionate about it. But more important than that, I want to help do my part to raise good people, to, you know, to create citizens that are going to be our leaders. And I know that sounds cliche, but I really mean that.